Good day folks. So what we're going to be going over today guys is specifically the section C part of the Leventhal paper and it comes under the area of geologic geometry or some sometimes otherwise known as roads as well. And specifically what we're actually going to be doing is a little bit on profiles. This is the area you'd probably generally start off with when you're covering this topic. Okay, so you can see here there's three questions on the page and we're going to go through them individually. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flash this first question here. Okay, so we can see here it says question number one. It says the map shows ground contours at 10 meter intervals. Okay, and then on the map draw a vertical section profile. Okay, so a vertical section the profile along the line AB. Identify and determine the altitude of the highest point on the profile. Okay. So we can see here, um, and I'll just actually scan down to this, okay? So we can actually see here, we have been given uh, a map whereby we can see the contour heights, okay? So that's basically the topography of the land, okay? We can see the highest one is at 50 and the lowest one is at 10. So it's going from 50 down to 40, 30, 20, 10. And the distance between each of them is obviously 10 meters in height, okay? Now our scale, if I just refer back up to here, our scale is one is to a thousand, which we can see there, okay? So using our scale, that's actually going to help us complete this question. So I'm just going to come down here. I'm just going to write in my scale here, which is 1 is to 1,000. What that essentially means is 1 millimeter on my sheet, okay, I usually would put in OS there, is to 1,000 millimeters in reality, okay? So on the sheet, in reality. So one millimeter on my sheet is equal to a thousand in reality. Now that essentially works out as we know one thousand millimeters in reality is equal, which actually equals one meter. Therefore, the scale I'm actually going to use in a minute, because the distance between my contours, okay, is ten meters. Well, I know if I was to multiply one meter, which is this one thousand millimeters, by ten, okay, if I was to times that by ten, I also have to multiply what's on my sheet by ten. So that basically means that. One millimeter on my sheet is to ten or one thousand in reality. Therefore, ten millimeters on my sheet is to ten thousand millimeters in reality. So my magic number there that I'm going to be using in a minute to work out uh, the profile section along the line AB is ten millimeters. Okay. So this is how it's done. We're going to basically use this line AB as our guideline. You can see here it's in line with my T square. So I'm just going to project up a line there. Usually come from the side of the sheet, it's often the way I do it. And starting at my lowest, which is 10, okay? So I'd mark that as 10 right there. That's the 10 meter contour. I'm going to measure up in 10 millimeter distances. So mark up 10 each time. So 10, that'd be 20. Another 10, another 10. And finally, another 10. And each one of those marks, you want to do a line across. Because what you have to imagine, and I'll explain it now in a second, is that we're looking directly at this profile straight at it. Okay, so that one there I said was 10, so this one would be 20, 30, 40, and finally 50. And essentially, what we're doing is we're looking at that line AB, which is a vertical cutting section, okay, a vertical profile cutting section, and it's like we're standing here and we're looking straight at it. And what we want to see is where it cuts all these contours at the 10, the 20, the 30, and so on, okay? So, what I do is I look at the contours, and I can see the 10 one cuts the profile AB here and here. So, what I do is I project that up. Where it hits it, right there at that point, I'm going to project that up. Likewise, with the next one. Do the exact same with the 20. And the 20 cuts through A, B profile here and here. So project them up. And I'll only go up as far as the 20. And you can probably see where this is going. The same thing with the 30. Likewise with the 40. And then likewise with the 50. 
Now I could have speeded that up because if I had just looked at the topography I could have seen that it was rising. Okay, I could have just gone from 10 to 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 to 50 back down. That's okay. So at every one of them we have now found what that vertical section profile would look like to us if we were looking straight at it. Okay, so you can see all those marks there. I'm going to plot those, so I'm quickly going to sketch that in. Okay, there we have it. There is the vertical section profile along the line AB, or say the line AB, which is the actual vertical profile. Okay, and what we can actually see is that is the shape our mountain actually takes along that kind of vertical profile there. And it also asks us identify and determine the altitude of the highest point on the profile. So technically, the altitude of the highest point, I'd imagine the highest point is right about there. Okay. So that is the highest point, okay, from there down to there. Well, it's actually not actually a ground level because technically this is 10, so probably should, if I had started at zero, to be down another 10. And that would be the highest point. And I'd estimate then if that's just gone above the 50, you can see here, it didn't just go from 50 across to here. It's not flat at the top. You have to imagine it's a mountain. So it's probably going to go a little bit higher than 50. So it's just going to go with the inclination and goes up before it come back down. Okay, so I'd imagine that's maybe about 52 meters high. Okay, not too hard, just a little bit of understanding there on the scale and how we would use it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to flash over here to the second question on the right hand side of the page. So for the second question, we can see that it says the map shows ground contours at 5 meter vertical intervals. So this time, in comparison to the last question where we had 10 meter intervals, this time the distance between our contours is 5. So you can see here 40, 35, down to 30, the gap between them is 5 meters. On the map, draw a vertical section profile along the line AB once again, and this time they've actually given us a different scale, okay? So that's actually just going to probably change up kind of our method. It might do, so we'll just check on that. So our scale here, just writing it in, I'd always advise you to write this in, is 1 is to 500. Now, just put it above it this time. So that means 1 millimeter on our sheet is to 500 millimeters in reality, okay? So this is all in millimeters. Okay, that basically is 500 millimeters is half a meter. Okay, so essentially what we want to do is we have to look at the distance between our contours, which is five meters. Okay, okay, so this goes 50 minus 45 is five meter distance. Therefore, what we're going to do is we divide this, okay, into five meters, okay, or we can multiply it and see how many times how many times we have to multiply this up to make five meters. So, in the case of 500 millimeters, which is half a meter, to make 5 meters, I'd actually have to multiply that by 10. So, if I multiply that by 10, I also have to multiply what's on my sheet by 10. So, 500 times 10 would be 5,000. Therefore, 5,000 millimeters we know is equal to 5 meters. But because I multiplied this by 10, I also have to multiply this by 10. Therefore, 10 millimeters on my sheet is equal to 5,000 millimeters in reality, or five meters. So that's kind of the number that we're going to go with there. It's the 10. Okay, that's what we're going to use for our profiles. So, very much like the last question, what we're going to do is, I always kind of come to the right, set up a little guide there. I'm going to look along here and see what my lowest number that's passing through the line AB. I can see that there is 40 is the highest number. I know there's a 45 technically over here, but it's not within the question, so it's just outside it. So 40 is my highest, and 20 is my lowest. So therefore, I'm actually going to put this mark at 15 this time. So every 10, just mark from the 7 there, every 10 millimeters is going to be a 5 millimeter or 5 meter increase in height. So that would be 10, 20, 30, 40. Up to 50. So you can see here, 10 millimeter increments, okay, is a 5 meter difference in height. So if that's 15, there's 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. Okay, once again, check the cross your contour heights. OK, 
Okay, so there's my contour heights projected across. Now what I have to do is I have to project across, uh, project up where the uh, sorry the vertical section profile, the line AB, is passing through each of these contour heights. Okay, so starting with the I can go up as far as the 40. So you can project the line the whole way up if you want it, or you can just mark it. I'll use the line. So the next one is at 35. Here is at 30. This one's at 25. Then I have 20. And 20. 25. 30. And finally, 35. Okay, so once again, just identify those points and then sketch in the curve. Okay, there we have it. That is the vertical section profile going along the line AB. I'd imagine, as I said here, we can see we have a 45 contour. just went off the question, so I didn't put it in. But I'd imagine the 45 contour would be somewhere up there, so that would actually continue up in that direction. Likewise, it seems to be rising in height here, so it probably continues on up there. Okay, so not too hard, uh, just a little bit different there on the scale that we used. So what we're going to do now is we're going to flash down here to the bottom question at the bottom of the page. So for the final question on this video, it says, uh, question number three, the map shows ground contours at 10 meter vertical intervals. So you can see here, obviously, the contour heights, 40 to 50 to 60 is 10 meter distance. And then it says, on the map, draw a vertical section profile along the line AB. Okay. Now, and also our scale, sorry, is one is to 2000. Right. So first of all, we can obviously see difference in this one is the line AB is actually not just going horizontally across our page. It's actually going at an angle. I'll just check that. I'd imagine this is kind of a square, so I'm hoping it's 45 degrees. Yeah, it just seems to be at 45 degrees, which is quite helpful here for this question. Okay, and then our scale is 1 is to 2,000. Right, so first of all, always we're going to write down our scale just to help us out. So 1 millimeter on our sheet is to 2,000 millimeters in reality. So O S I R, that's kind of how I write it. And just put in millimeters here as well. Now, the distance between our contours, okay, is 10 meters. Okay, so we know 10 meters, another way of kind of describing it, is equal to 10,000 millimeters. Okay, so the distance between our contours is 10 meters. That's the distance we're going to have to use to work out this over here. So 10, 10 meters is 10,000 millimeters. So what did I multiply 2,000 to get 10,000 by? Okay, by dividing 2,000 into 10, we know I multiplied it by 5. So if I multiply 2,000 by 5 to give me 10,000, therefore I also have to multiply 1 millimeter by 5 on my sheet, which would actually give me 5 millimeters. Therefore, 5 millimeters on my sheet is equal to 10,000 millimeters in reality. That's kind of my magic number that I'm going to be stepping up from my profile this time. So a little bit different to the other two questions. So first of all, starting off, I am just going to look at my vertical section profile, AB, and see what the lowest is and what the highest is. So I can see, I'm just looking here, 40 contours passing through here, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So 40 seems to be my lowest, and my highest is 110. Okay, so I'm going to start off by setting up a line parallel to my vertical profile, okay, parallel to that, running the whole way along it, and what I'm actually going to do is that one there I'm going to mark at, I'm going to pick 30, okay, which is a little bit, I'll actually pick 40, sorry, go 40 this time, so that's 40 there. Now, what I'm going to do is setting up a line here. That's a 90 degree angle in there. Okay, little 90 degree angle. I'm going to mark up distances of 5 millimeters because remember, 5 is the measurement we're going up this time. But every 5 millimeters equates to 10 meters in reality. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. That might be enough there, I'll just check. So, 40, 50, 60, 70, 
80, 90, 100. I actually need one more. So another 5 millimeters. 110. Okay. So every one of them is going to project up. Just happens to work out for us at 45 degrees. Okay, so there we have it. I actually didn't need the last one when I was counting, obviously, it was wrong. But what we're going to do now is we're going to project up where all of these contours pass through the vertical profile AB, where all of them pass through it, I'm going to mark up as far as my vertical heights up here. So, very first one here, I can see that this one is 50, or sorry, 40. So I'm going to go all the way up to the 40. This one's going to go up to 50. 60, just following my heights over here. Now this mark here, if I follow it all the way up here, I can see it's 70. Don't just assume, always just check. So there's a 70. Next one is at the 80, so I can see following it out here. Likewise, the next one is at 90. Next is then at big gap between the next one, it's a hundred. And then we have a hundred and ten. Once again another hundred and ten. And we're going all the way back down to a hundred now and so on. So hundred Next mark is at 90 and all the way back down to 40. 90, just make sure, yep, yeah, I'm on the right track. 80. And a mistake on that one is actually this point, 70. 60, 50, and finally 40. Okay, identify your points and plot the curve. So there you have it guys, that there is what the vertical profile would look like along the line, the vertical section profile along the line AB is if we were looking straight at it. It's like basically we took out a slice of the mountain and that's kind of the profile that it would leave behind, okay? I uh, hope you found those uh, three questions helpful guys, that's the first video, uh, the first video there on profiles done, okay?